This weekend will feel like the dead of winter, but parents are already thinking about summer, specifically summer camps. And there's a one stop shop this weekend for them to learn more about options for their kids. Kathy Reismer from Seven Days joins us now. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Kat, for having me. So this is the 26th summer camp and school fair. What can parents and kids who attend expect? Yep. So it's a chance for parents and kids to come down to the Burlington Hilton and talk with more than 30 camps and schools that are running programs that will be fun. Uh, things for your kids to do over summer vacation this year. Affording summer camp, though, can be a challenge for some families. However, you found there are a couple options that you know of that are trying to break down financial barriers, right? Yeah, actually, um, in fact, most of the camps uh, that are out there that you'll meet at the fair do offer some form of financial aid. Some of them have scholarships. Some of them offer tiers, like a sliding scale, pay this much or this much, and um, you know, knowing that some parents will pay less, some will pay more. And then there are a couple, um, both the Flynn and the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum, who have actually announced that their camps are pay what you can afford. So this summer, they are willing to take any kid um, into their program if their family can pay what they can afford. And they, they will find that out from the parents. And let's say people can't make it this weekend. There's still a way to learn about these summer camps, right? Absolutely. We have a list of actually many more summer camps on our website, campfindervt.com. And there's also a camp guide in this week's issue of Seven Days. You can pick that up. There are camps that are going to be at the fair. There are camps that have listings on the website. And then there are camps who are running ads, um, some of them from New York and New Hampshire. Lots of different places for you to check out this summer for your kids. This is back in person now. This will be the second year back in person since the pandemic. Did you find that you needed both of those options, both the online one and the in-person one to meet the needs of parents? You know, we did the the virtual camp fair in 2020, and I know that some people enjoyed that, but last year when we were back in person, we just got so much feedback from people that they loved, both the exhibitors and the parents, that they loved being able to actually talk to people face to face. I think when you're, you know, you're a parent, I've made this decision with my own kids, it's just there's something about talking to someone one on one where you get to get a sense of them and the organization and, and the kind of place you're sending your kids because you're trusting them uh, to take care of your children. So. That's a really big decision, and I, I know that parents really appreciate being able to um, see and talk with uh, lots of different camps on options in one place. And what are the details? Where, when, cost to get in, things like that? Well, the event is absolutely free, so it doesn't cost anything to get in, though you may have to pay to park. Uh, and the camp fair is on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Burlington Hilton. And we will have more information on our website with this story. Kathy Resmer from 7 Days, thank you. Thanks, Kat. Hope you can join us.